There are Italy's new wave of sexy TV adverts. They tease, titillate, even shock. How far will they dare to go? It's one of Italy's new kind of TV shows. La Piscina, the swimming pool. A display of bikini-clad young women, cunningly disguised as a chat and quiz show. It's hosted by Alba Parietti, a 30-year-old former Miss Universe candidate and small-time actress. She made her name by revolutionizing the way football was presented on television. A woman speaking about Italy's most sacred, male-dominated pastime, perched on a stool, showing off her legs to the camera. From there, she graduated to the big time and big money of advertising. Since Alba Parietti started advertising motor oil, sales have doubled. Is it because of her personality or because of her legs? Tutti hanno sostenuto che il mio successo è stato determinato da, da, dalle gambe, dalla bellezza e non dalla professionalità. Da quando io ho cominciato a fare questa trasmissione, tutte le presentatrici eh, di, di sport hanno cominciato a mettersi le gonne, hanno cominciato ad accavallare le gambe. Alba's success got her photo onto the cover of all the nation's glossy magazines. Now TV ads, as well as TV programs, have become more openly sexual. Alba's ad is one of this new breed, although compared with others, it is relatively tame. Alla IT, per un cambio d'olio ti regalano. But the tabloid press immediately compared it with an ad for the same motor oil starring Francesca Dell'Era, a 23-year-old cinema actress famed for her ample figure. The rivalry was dubbed the war of breasts versus legs. The media frenzy aroused has focused on the whole subject of sexuality on TV. It's not just that adverts exploit sexy images of women. Sex is used to sell practically anything. Un certo modo di gestire i mass media finisce per esasperare, per esagerare le mode e le cattive abitudini. Ecco, credo che oggi la pubblicità in Italia abbia proprio questa funzione, cioè di esagerare le cattive abitudini. According to Italian law, advertisers must get their ideas approved by their governing body. But there are no precise definitions as to the use of nudity and sexual images in commercials. Ma io direi che ormai si spingono dove vogliono perché non ci sono forme di censure che eh, diciamo proteggono lo spettatore da questo. But does the consumer need protection? The advertisers say they're not distorting or exaggerating, just reflecting real Italian life. In Italian television there is more sensuality, but this is probably because the Italians are more sensual, if I may say, than the English ones. Uh, and uh, seduction, sensuality has been always an important part of the Italian lifestyles. And advertising picks it up and shows it. The number of private networks has blossomed since the state monopoly was challenged in 1976. Now, with 14 national and hundreds of local networks, Italy puts out more commercials than most of the European networks put together. The three networks owned by Silvio Berlusconi's Fininvest broadcast three minutes of ads every 12 minutes of programming. That's three hours a day. It's all got too much for film director Franco Zeffirelli. I caught up with him as he rehearsed his new play. One of his masterpieces, Romeo and Juliet, had just been shown on Canale 5, Berlusconi's entertainment channel. Last night, this uh, pilot, these uh, horrendous people, broadcasted, breaking it to pieces, chopping to pieces, with the most vulgar interruptions, done just by scissors, not the way we normally do. We are asked by the station to organize, uh, prepare a cut version of our films and we accept the principle. Now they do it by the yard with scissors and they put there the most unbelievable uh, publicity. Imagine after the, bed, the bedroom scene of, uh, of Roman Juliet, we had the publicity of the condoms. And when Juliet was in despair, publicity of Tampax. And now to see it reduced to this, like, like seeing 
meeting your daughter in a brothel in, in South America, I mean, it's, it's, or in uh, Uganda. It's really, I promise you, it's awful. It's all very well for Zeffirelli to complain about adverts in the middle of his films, but without adverts, could the networks afford to transmit them? Noi abbiamo acquistato un diritto al quale intendiamo non rinunciare, evidentemente, ma non per una questione di principio, ma per una questione di sopravvivenza. But survival for whom? Berlusconi, with his multi-million pound empire in property, insurance and department stores, advertises his own products on his channels. The higher the TV ratings, the bigger the market. Of course, this affects the quality of all TV programs. Adesso si parla di televisione spazzatura, perché? Perché eh, i canali grondano di programmi televisivi assolutamente inconsistenti a livello del demenziale. Credo però che siano le forze sociali, culturali, di animazione sufficienti in Italia per fare da giusto antidoto, non contro il singolo spot pubblicitario che può infastidire per 24 ore, ma proprio contro il grosso fenomeno che rischia veramente di fare dei danni in profondo. Lasciarci condizionare dal mercato significa stare attenti a quello che il pubblico vuole. Ora il pubblico non vuole di partenza la cultura nella, nei suoi grandi numeri. A new broadcasting law comes into effect next month to limit the power of Italy's media mogul. National channels will have to contain news programming. It's a change I welcome because it will provide competition and choice. But there'll still be adverts every 12 minutes and the legs of women like Alba Parietti will continue to be on the air as long as they make billions of lire. Your